Welcome to the Land Cave, where we're living as nerds. I'm Patrick, joined by Owen. Hello. Yeah. That's him. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I that can't was, get that going, but it's okay. It's okay. It, could, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Welcome. We talk about video games, gaming news, all that nerd stuff here. Uh, usually without TV, error, sometimes movies. with. Yeah. All kinds, all kinds of fun stuff. It's if it's nerdy and it's geeky, we'll talk about it. I'll try not to talk too much about, like, say, Magic the Gathering or something that looks going to bore some people. We try to keep it general, you know, maybe a little well, bit of things know, that you contextual like. too. Like, I, I just finished Sandman today. I know I didn't put that on there. Have you have you checked it out yet? Have you started? Uh, it? I watched the first Netflix episode. Action. Watched the first, first episode. episode. I've watched all ten episodes as of nice. today. Nice. I. I like it. I, I did. I did uh, uh, see your post on Facebook. Uh, if you yeah, wanted to yeah. give that little little taste of that for the viewers who listeners who didn't get to see that, what did you? It uh, it's fine. It's solid. Yeah. It's it's good. Even whenever I say whenever I say something is solid, I don't know about you. Like solid to me is a positive feature. It's solid. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's good. It's not great. In my opinion, I was seeing like nines and tens for the show, and I, I'm not. It's not there for me in terms of this season. Yeah. Um, I have not read the comics. Uh, my wife has read most of the comics. We okay. actually have the omnibuses oh, down there on my shelf. Yeah. And so she's has more context than I do to the show, but it was solid. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I just I don't know about you, dude, but. Neil Gaiman is he's not hit or miss for, uh, no he is hit or miss for me but every time I read some Gaiman mm-hmm. I'm like oh this is great this is great this is great and then there's always like two or three chapters in his book I'm just like what are you talking about what does this have to do with anything <laughs> American and Gods had some same, of that yeah yeah American Gods did have some mm-hmm. of that so mm-hmm. did Stardust uh it, it's stuff where it's like this is a good book I just don't know why you're filling it with this nonsense and he has a very heavy role in yeah. the creation of this show, um, which I appreciate. I respect. I love that he is being very hands on with the show. So that means whatever product is being put on the screen, you know that he is okay with it. And mm-hmm. I like that. I appreciate yeah. that. But even still, there was a there was it's ten episode season. There was one episode where I was like, "What is the point? Of this? I got nothing <laughs> out of this episode." It's like you did some cool whatever you did some crazy stuff i'm not gonna spoil it at all i'm not even gonna say what episode it is but to me it was an absolutely useless episode because by the end it was like okay this character doesn't matter (laughs) yeah cool yeah and Uh, i'll we'll see you again never (laughs) yeah and i've I've seen some of that with with his work or or other writers and i'd say i'd say stephen king's worse in my opinion about that where stephen king's books are so like they're i i like i like some of I like what Stephen King writes, but he doesn't need to. It's like you don't need to have. It doesn't need to be that long. You don't have to spend three chapters uh, describing the same chase that no one really moved in. Like it's like a Dragon Ball Z episode in a book. I'm like, I'm still reading this. I don't know. I, nothing's really happened. The spirit bomb still hasn't gone off yet. <laughs> so no, I, I get it when it comes Frieza's to Sam. still just just still just standing there <laughs> waiting to take it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, and I think that, uh, I mean, I will say I, I agree in, for the most part with what you're saying about, about Gaiman. And uh, Gaiman, Gaiman, I don't know. I, I, I don't always know. thought it was Gaiman, but... Um, it, it I, could I, be. It could be. I don't know. I just always the AI. So, like, I yeah. took German in high school. And if you don't know anything about German, in German context, in the German language, when you have two vowels, the second one, my teacher always said, two vowels go walk and the second does the talking. So... Gaiman so is you start G-A-I, with I, yeah, yeah. and so AI, so I is how you would gotcha. say it. In and it may be the and German maybe language, but yeah. I have no idea if he's German or not. It could be. I mean, AI. I know that he's British, but I don't know like what the actual you know etymology of the the, the name is and everything. But um, I, I get that. I will say what I've seen, I liked, and I would say what I like the most about it though is the cinematography. It's the it's the uh, the overall tone and setting has nailed uh, just r- straight up from the opening like felt like a dream 
of these these uh, locations moving into another location seamlessly because that's how that subconscious like brain works when you dream. Uh, yeah. I, I love that aspect. Did you, did you find it? Or no? It's a two minute long thing. It's like the title of the video says Neil Gaiman. I don't know how to say Neil Gaiman. And yeah. it's like it's two and a half minutes long. <laughs> It's it's not one of those uh, what are those like five second clips that someone okay. saying. Okay, he says it's game it. Okay. He says game. So I've been okay. saying it wrong this whole time. That's okay. Uh, you you were breaking so down the entomology in a different way. That's yeah. I stand corrected. I sit corrected because I'm not standing. Yeah. Uh, Gaiman, Neil Gaiman. I will do my best to never say Gaiman yeah. ever again, unless pronouncing somebody else's name. I've I've I liked what I saw so far. I I I only saw a few, not too many people, but I saw a few people who were upset about the about uh, Def uh, not being a white woman. I don't care. We're talking about. I mean, we're we're talking it's... about uh, you know gods, if you well, will. Also, uh, and, Lucifer entities. is a woman, also, which I'm sure made some people upset. Which uh, Lucifer's being played by being played by Brienne of Tarth, and I'm like, if you can get that upset, it's yeah. Brienne of Tarth. Come on, she's <laughs> I, dope. I will say, I mean, I've seen pictures. Like, yeah, like char character from a comic book is not white. And, oh no. Yeah, I go, I go back to I don't care if you race swap as long as the character's race does not matter to the to whoever it is. Like if the character is supposed to be you know, uh, from a specific area, then like, I'm like, well, it's kind of weird to race swap them. Dream, death, they're, they're entities. They're not, they're, they're, they're ideas. They're gods. They're, they're not the endless. They're, they're in the endless. I, they're, but I mean, like the concept is further up than like, uh, like, Oh, where were they born? Were that's even a weird question to even say about, about the endless. So well, there was that thing where like people it. got mad that there, yeah. there was like a stage play of like Harry Potter and people were mad that Hermione was being played by uh, a black woman. And it's like, well, who cares? Even if it, even if yeah. she is written as yeah. white in the book, which, you know, contextually, I don't know if they ever mentioned the color of her skin, but I'm sure that there, I'm sure there's a detail at some point where she like gets sick and goes pale white or something. I don't know. But, I don't know. But who at cares? the same point, who, yeah. I just, that's the bottom line for me, like, because there's yeah. no reason that the color of your skin ever actually does matter. No. When you're talking no. about race swapping, if you're talking about changing a person's cultural background, exactly. That's the point. So, like, when say you're Black about Panther playing, like, or something like that, where it's like, like well, yeah. let's not let's not have you Mexican Black Panther in the movie. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, I guess you could get like a South African in there, and like maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe mean, make that uh, that that play, but I wouldn't do it. But then I'd, uh, I'd be like, no, that's Dutch influence, so get out of there. So we're yeah. we're not going to go into that. Like, if it's a good, there's it's a, good. It's a thing where it's just like stop caring about stuff that doesn't matter. Yeah, it's care about the, things I that mean, do that's, matter. That's, yeah. Some yeah, things do the, matter. Like I'm getting better my, at return on the way. About, that, that constant thing of saying stop stop Game asking. on. <laughs> sorry, did you beat it yet? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. What? I said, did you beat it yet? Did, no, I didn't beat it yet. Sorry, I was I was looking. You we said had game a, on. Was that yeah? The we recording? had we had a commenter saying a game on in regards to his uh, Neil game on in instead oh, yeah. of game in. I like that. Um, yes. No, I'm getting better at Returnal. I have not beaten it. I'm on the third biome. I think there are five. Um, so when you die, you do start back at the first. And you have to retread your steps. However, there are ways to... You get. You don't have to redo the entire thing. There are shortcuts and kind of like a, you get a hookshot uh, kind of... Uh, Every equipment game's at better one point. with a hook shot. Yeah, exactly. It you can jump in the game, so nine out of ten automatically, and it has a hook shot. So um, it's it is difficult, but you are replaying a lot of the same kind of things. But I find myself replaying it to set up my character a little bit more. Like I'm going to get a couple buffs before I try to go further, because you could go straight from once you die, you could, you could theoretically go relatively quickly into the third biome if you've already gotten there. I haven't gotten further. I'm just saying. I've spent a lot of time just so getting you, the setup. So you've gotten, you've gotten the, through two. You've right gotten now? through two. Yeah, the first, honestly, the mm -hmm. second one wasn't as difficult as the the first one. Um, I think it's because I got, I'm, I'm gotten considerably better, and uh, the second one's a little bit, a little bit more linear uh, to an extent. But I've liked it. I would say the melee, as you're seeing me here, like re uh, the melees for the first area is worth like you can just melee everything um everything that's not a not a boss or mini boss 
Uh, so I end up doing that until I uh, until I do get a decent weapon. Uh, weapons are also random, buffs are random. So that's the only drawback is when you die, it's a roguelike. So you're starting for, relatively from scratch again, and you got to try again. Uh, but I like it. I definitely recommend it. It is challenging, but once you get some of the patterns and you're, you know, you probably play better than me. I'm not that great. But um, once you get some of the patterns, you kind of get the idea of, of, uh, of the game. It's a lot easier. You got to get good. Yeah. Get good. Standard, yeah. uh, standard souls. Like, I mean, I know it's not souls like, but just standard souls fair these days. Just get good. Yeah. I did install it. I have not gotten to it. I have, I took a week off of, uh, off of work. And I thought, like, I download, you know, I did the thing that I always do. I downloaded a whole bunch of stuff to my Switch, brought my Vita, brought my Switch, ended up only playing nothing. And so the only thing that I played for the last week and a half was uh, unpacking on uh, on Game Pass on Xbox, which admittedly I am playing for the Microsoft Rewards points. Yeah. Uh, um so I didn't realize I, that was a game when you said unpacking. I was like, oh, yeah, dude's unpacking something. Oh, like, no, yeah, the game. Oh, you didn't bad. realize that? Oh, the bad. game is actually unpacking. <laughs> I'll, get, um, I'll get that. It's a, it's a point and click game that you literally unpack your house across several stages. Like you're the whole, there's no story. It's a contextual story. You have to basically, you see how your life progresses from like young adulthood through uh through more of like your middle years as you like get your first kid but each level is like a different house that you're moving into and you unpack your stuff and you see how you kind of retain certain things nice across uh across levels and, and so I, it's it's a game that's made for me but i also looked up um uh, so basically i'm on a conquest right now i wanted to see if i could do it um i was told and now i've I virtually confirmed it. I haven't earned quite enough yet, but it's still very early on in the month. You can pay for Microsoft Game Pass completely for free. F completely for free. You can spend zero dollars on Microsoft Game Pass if you are willing to put in, I'm going to say on average, five minutes a day. Um, a little bit more if you want to really secure your points using gotcha. your xbox yeah um because so you, cause you, you log get, in you get points just by logging in and hitting the hitting the hamburger button and you get yeah. points by well you get points by playing a game pass game so that's, that's right like five points but you get 50 points mm -hmm. for earning an achievement okay if you earn an achievement you get 50 points. And so I looked up a list of easy achievement games on Xbox and started with Unpacking, which was already on my list of games to play at some point anyway, and it's available on Game Pass. You literally get an achievement just every time you beat a level. And a level takes you somewhere between 10 and 30 minutes. And you can turn on accessibility mode where you can put the items anywhere. And yeah. you, you can complete a level in probably five minutes that way. So... <laughs> Um, but I basically it comes down to the fact you get the edge browser on your phone, open it up every morning. There's some daily quests to do. All you literally have to do is click them. There's a couple of quizzes sometimes where you have to answer a couple questions. There's one quiz every week where if you have to get the questions right to get the points. And so if you really want to focus, you can take longer. Uh, but after that, you just have to do edge Bing searches. So you do Bing searches via your mobile browser, and then you click on the, the button on your edge browser on your phone and change it to desktop mode, and then do some more searches because it, there's points for desktop searches and points for mobile searches. And basically, I have it down to a thing where it's taking me around 10 minutes a day to do the majority of the work on seven 29 so july 29th i had 2452 points and today looking, is august yeah 10th today is yeah today is august 10th i have 9198 points and just to compare to that get, by the way just to compare that me okay. someone who has done this never i just logged in uh, by the way to check and see what how many points do i have because a i've never done any of that and b I don't believe I've re redeemed points. So this yeah. is just straight up like 
what points do I have that I don't I don't think I've ever I have 33 uh, sorry 3350 points now that says okay. hold up that's lifetime points zero points redeemed <laughs> so like I haven't done anything and I have three th you've done uh, in the past month you've hit the past triple almost tripled the past 11 days 11 days 12 so days. Right, 12 days. so so it's worth it in comparison to the oh well i buy microsoft stuff because i was thinking okay well maybe i've got like a month in there that i haven't even redeemed that was my thought so uh, yeah. a, xbox so xbox xbox uh xbox ultimate if you want game pass ultimate fourteen hundred thousand points so you're gonna hit that like like you said if you want to safely do it put in a little bit of extra time and, to get the extra extra points. And if you if you earn enough points in the month, which isn't hard, you you say it's 14,000, it'll actually go down to 12,000. So you hit okay. level 2 by earning enough points per month, which is very easy if you're trying, and it'll be 12,000. Now, here's the even bigger kicker. Two kickers actually. So one, you can redeem um, for a month of Xbox Gold or PC Game Pass for 7,000 points. If you do that while you have Ultimate, it will convert to 20 days of Ultimate. So there's already a net positive there. I could have already converted my points to a month of PC Game Pass, so 7,000 instead of 12. I know this is really complicated for anybody listening, but I promise it's net positive to do the 20 days versus getting a month of Game yeah. Pass. So it's net positive to do the 7,000 points. But then somebody put me on to even something more. What you do, let your Game Pass expire, your Game Pass Ultimate. Let your Game Pass Ultimate expire. Turn all your, your Microsoft Rewards points into several months of either Gold or PC Game Pass, uh -huh. whichever one is cheaper for you in your region, and then save enough points to buy one month of Ultimate because then whenever you do that one month of Ultimate, it will convert either your Xbox Live Gold or PC Game Pass to Ultimate and ultimately award your points. So my Game Pass expires in February. I'm going to be saving my Microsoft Rewards points until February, and I'm going to see how many I can get, <laughs> how many months that I can get. But I'm going to yeah. be doing this on the daily because it it's really very easy. There's yeah. If you have an Xbox, I complete... Like, if your Xbox is your console do it it's so easy get the rewards app on your yeah. xbox series specifically there is there's even more points in there that's how i've gotten so many inside the xbox rewards app uh or the microsoft rewards app on xbox you get points for things like i said the achievement 50 yeah. points there's a monthly quest that got me 2,000 points and it was very easy i had to do like five bing searches across five days um, play a game, earn an achievement. Yeah. And that got me 2,000 points. If you rent movies, consider renting them through your Xbox as opposed to whatever other service that you're doing. So if you have your Xbox plugged into your TV, because there is points for point. renting movies yeah. right now. There's a thing right now where you can get, uh, if you rent four movies, you get 5,000 points. Is as it four movies in like a, in a month or... In the for the month of August, okay. if you rent four movies that cost over four dollars or more to rent, you get five thousand points. Yeah, and yeah. again, that's you don't have to do that. I'm going to earn enough without yeah. doing that. But yeah. those are little bonus incentives that if you're thinking about like, oh, you know, I kind of want to rent a movie, maybe consider doing it on your Xbox yeah. instead of whatever other service that if you're, you're doing because do you it, might yeah. get rewarded for it. Yeah, is is the whole point? I'm going to have enough to i already know it because it's august 10th there's 20 days left in the month my goal was to see if i can earn enough in a month yeah and i'm only three thousand points away and i'm gonna hit that very easily yeah so um, i'm gonna be doing come this. back at the I end mean, of the month and see how yeah i do it plus there's little there's other extra quests where they pick a every week they pick a list of games so far mm -hmm. at least the last two weeks they're like here's our favorite anime games and if you play an anime one of the games on the list and get an achievement it was several hundred points yeah. and then this week they just it was a random hodgepodge list but again it's like play one of these games get an achievement and you'll get a bunch of points yeah. it's 
it, and if you're streaming, it encourages you to use your Xbox. If you're doing the cloud streaming off that too, then you don't even have to install those games. Uh, I did pop Correct. in and do a little bit of that uh, this weekend uh, just to try it out. Uh, yeah. Not not bad. I also played that. Uh, uh, it's this new. Uh, it's like a Rocket League golf clone kind of thing, where you're like racing mm. cars to. And uh, I'm just really bad uh, at. <laughs> it was. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't bad. It's just uh, I quickly get you know quickly get knocked out because everyone's seen it's multiplayer. But um, the delay wasn't too bad on that. I did try to play some stuff that was more first person shootery. That was. It's just a, a little bit not terrible input lag. Better on my Xbox than it was on my phone. So, you know, a little, little bonus there. Um, and I like that, too, that you can do xCloud on your Xbox where you're like, I don't want to install this. Yeah. I'll just, I just want to check it out. Or you could yeah. be doing one of these quests where you're like, I don't want to waste hard drive space. I'll just try this yeah. game. <laughs> drop into a quest, get a get an uh, achievement in the, next, in the first 10 minutes, and then close out of the game. You didn't install anything. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a great illustration also of uh, Microsoft wants people in their ecosystem and something as simple as that to reward people you're in the ecosystem therefore you're more like more than likely to play or purchase even if you're you know just because you're booting up the console so if you're in the ecosystem more often you're more often you know it's it's that psychological um carrot in front of you because you're like oh i'm gonna get the free game pass cool and then oh something's discounted maybe i'll buy that or i'll rent a movie so it's first of all it's great for people who are really who are really on a tight budget um you know do this play and do you don't have to buy a game i think that's i think that's amazing um i'm gonna be jumping in now that i know it's not it's it's not a, a huge lift or if i miss a day or two like that was my yeah. thing and where it, i'm like if, if i get I 25 days out of the month like i think that would be enough so uh i'm happy about that yeah yeah and um, i did miss a day and then the majority of the thing the time that i do with my it's you know it's that morning poop you know, you're sitting on the, <laughs> you're sitting on the toilet the looking at your phone anyway. Just oh, just download the Edge browser on your phone and do it through Edge. Yeah. And I'll talk to you offline more about it. But like there's very easy ways to get your Bing searches without having to work too hard. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you more about yeah. that. Yeah. And, you know, maybe maybe we could make a video on it. Honestly, we should make a video on like just once the month is over can kind of go over where i started and where it ended we could just clip a segment where it's like here's yeah. how to get game pass for free because i don't think enough people know about this because i didn't know about it until recently somebody had said it but it, they the way they said it it just made it seem like a whole lot of effort yeah and it really if you're going to be playing your xbox anyway it's not really any effort at all <laughs> Yeah, no, no I, I agree. Like you're saying, if you're already going to boot up your Xbox, why not do X? You know, a couple of these things to ensure you get some points, uh, free stuff on on your uh, to to get the points free and repeat. You know, being able to do that, just put up a Google Calendar reminder and just knock it out every day if you can. Um, I'm I'm tempted to do that. Like you said, like uh, make it part of your morning routine. Grab a couple, uh, grab some points, and then. You don't have to pay for Game Pass, so I will try that. I'll also try the uh, like you were talking about stacking points because it doesn't look like your points really—they don't expire, do they? They expire after something? eighteen months. Eighteen months. Okay, so my lifetime points weren't really lifetime. Okay, so so that's not bad. That means you can rack these up for the like you were saying before between now and February. You don't have to worry yeah. about them expiring, and then you can cash them in. So leave Correct. you with that. Uh, also, if you want to cash in, you could make a really good predator movie hulu's biggest premiere ever uh, it? yeah yeah it's very good um i haven't gotten to it yeah i know this is obviously not i, I whenever i threw the, throw things like this in there i'm like it's not necessarily owen's thing but it's predator what are you talking about? i love predator like dude. well the <laughs> it's it's the more like gory like aspect oh, but I, but, but that was know, it's predator. but it's predator like, ever since ever since the arnold movie man there's just some series yeah. it's, just, it's just like aliens too like it's a little bit more brutal than yeah. it needs to be yeah sometimes but the first few were so good that you just keep on coming back I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bold statement, and I'm gonna follow it up with something. But this is I believe this may be my second favorite Predator movie, By and I'm saying that as a bold statement because I really like Predator Two, and it's a movie that some people don't like. You like Predator um, Two more than Predator One? No, 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 no. So oh, it's Predator, 
Prey okay. and then Predator Two. Oh. No, no, no. I, mean, I was going to say Prey. That is bold. Okay, the the last shot of all the Predators coming in there, like giving him like the giving uh, Danny Glover the uh, the the pistol. The like robot. that's a Dude. that was. I thought it was a, it was like a flint lock. Uh, like oh, yeah, that was cool. Was a... That was really cool. But no, this is like this is right on. This is under the first one. I, it didn't beat the first one. There, there's only one thing that I would say is like, oh, there's some fan service, but it wasn't that. Uh, blatant um, uh, actress in here is amazing. The the fact that they did this as a period piece, um, you know, I'm obviously not going to pretend to be an expert in like the the cultural aspect, but it seems um, it seems like they were trying to be true mm-hmm. to to that. And I heard people, you know, talking about that aspect of it for you know your your native uh, you know First Nations uh, individuals in this. Um, I really liked it but um the only thing i've i've heard people say negative is is people you know talking about the female character and i'm like well you're i don't i didn't agree with their 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 uh comments but um i really liked it really enjoyed it it's like people complaining that don't need to be complaining again yeah it's i mean it's not bad to like you care i'll i'll, uh, I'll well, have to check it out my wife will have zero interest in yeah. this movie um yeah, obviously maybe. we have Hulu's. Yeah. No, well, she she, she, may, she doesn't no. like action movies. So. Well, the uh I mean it's it's not as, it's not as I mean there's there's action in there but it it's very well paced and they they show they show she's competent. It's not like oh she's just some rando. It's like no, she's a competent like you know person who uh a competent hunter and all that. It's not just, you know, oh we threw a random person uh cuz some people were saying like she's no Arnold. Well, no, she's not. Like that's but the whole point of one of these movies is you take someone who, uh, yeah, I mean, I could go, I could go on about it, but I thought it was really well done cinematography wise, um, uh, really great. And the pacing, they didn't try to just throw in a bunch of gore just to do it. And they didn't, they waited to really start showing things, which I appreciate in these kind of movies, let it cook. Um, and then, uh, it's a little bit more movie news as we kind of go through this. I don't want to spend too much time on everything, but, uh, we did get more uh, or more confirmation. The Highlander remake is happening, but Henry Cavill's still not it signed. Be one. Yeah, uh, Henry Cavill's still not signed, but that's all the director talks about when he talks about the Highlander remake. Um, I think it's a it's an easy cast, and I I'm almost certain that Cavill will will do it, time permitting. Um, I, I I don't foresee him like putting this on the back burner unless he absolutely has to because this is it's it's so good it's it's some cheap good cheesy 80s stuff but it's uh we haven't had a good highlander movie in forever either so i thought these kind of went hand in hand haven't had a good predator movie haven't had a good, highlander, a good movie. highlander movie i'm just kidding the the uh, first one and the director's cut of the second one is okay it's okay director's cut the fir- the uh, do you know about do you know about highlander 2 no so highlander 2 <laughs> the the theatrical version of highlander 2 you find out that they're actually aliens. They're not humans, and that they're aliens that were exiled to be on the planet Earth. Sure. It's like well, you you take the mythical aspect or, or mystical aspect of like these people being born special, and it's like nope. Turns out they were aliens the whole time. Um, it's Makes sense to me. it's atrocious. <laughs> and they've I mean, had I want to that... say eight movies. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to be very clear. Highlander has never has never been like good. I mean, it's I fine. It. It's cool. <laughs> like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it's fun to like. Yeah. Uh, like many things, you know. And I agree. There is room for a new one to exist, and I'm sure that you could uh, even somehow make it cool. Yeah. I'm sure there's people who are disagreeing with me right now that are like, hey, Highlander's awesome. What are you talking about? Uh, you I know, love it, but right. come on. I mean, <laughs> I love Highlander, but like, I'll, I will, I will even talk about it. it. Is it is the first movie? The first movie is is uh, cheesy, but I love it for how over the top it is. And then everything else is bad. The TV show had some had some decent stuff, but it's it's definitely the uh, in the category of like you you almost feel weird saying how much you're a fan of the series. Like I've watched every Highlander movie and that immediately puts me in like a weird camp of like, why did you do that to yourself? Um, 
and they're and they're mostly bad but i i do love the first one um i think i think it could be really good especially you were talking about henry cavill doing you know more sword work so you know people will come out to see that in my opinion you know what's another show it pro- it, it's not like the same at all uh the highlander kung tv fu? show I'm, I'm thinking of like kung fu uh-huh and just another one of like because uh didn't they come back at one point they did like a secondary thing of kung fu like a second tv run or something they did yeah yeah and it's just again one of those series where it's like is it good i don't know but it's yeah uh, the legend continues the legend continues because he came back you know as if it wasn't bad enough that a white man was playing a a a chinese immigrant Uh, david carradine yeah yeah. david carradine he comes back to do it more uh as an older white man uh pretending to be it's it's on that steven seagal level of like this is uncomfortably racist and like uh like I'm talking about Steven Seagal interviews, sorry, not his movies, but um, it, it's oh, yeah, it's a movies. yeah. Steven Seagal movies are, are schlock, but he in in uh, in interviews the man like is it's this weird. He's shtick. a terrible person. He's a very terrible. He's a terrible person. Um, who who are not I don't know terrible about David people. Carradine. David Carradine's Dean, but is dead. Uh, I don't know if he's a terrible person at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could. I mean, we could we could go into that, but uh, I don't think he's. Ne- I don't Where know. We, I don't know, but I will say stealing Bruce. It wasn't him. He didn't steal Bruce Lee's TV show idea, so I'm not going to blame him for that. But he did star in the move in the show that Bruce Lee came up with the idea, and the the studio stole his idea. That's that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but what sucks even more than that, in my opinion, oh no, it doesn't suck more than that. What people are upset about that is that could suck or is DC Comics so many dc eu dcu whatever everything's everything's gutted this is for those of you who don't know just a quick brief discover purchased dc from warner or sorry yeah so uh sorry from at&t D, uh discover purchased warner and dc uh rights from at&t right pretty sure uh... 18 yeah I don't know what that is. Sorry, I was I'm, I'm struck because you're you're showing Knights of the Old Republic. That's on the, the wrong. It's the wrong so video. I was like, I was like what does that have video. to do with DC Comics? So uh, my I just brain was literally stuck. Like, <laughs> why is Kotor here right now? My because bad. It got gutted, well, but <laughs> it's it's because I queue up everything, and every now and then it's like it doesn't nice. update something. So uh, I would so essentially because of that whole buyout and, and all of that. Um, their new parent company has been cutting a lot of costs. And I believe the the figure was supposed to be like $3 billion or something to that effect uh, was the goal or what, they're, what they did cut. Um, so they cut, as, um, uh, as I was uh, kind of going to go talk about a little bit, but uh, Batgirl uh, was cut. That movie was like $70 million, I want to say, into production. Needed another 30 to get it completed before... Um, I've heard uh, what, there, there are other projects that have been cut, done, but that's the biggest and mostly one. done from what yeah. they said. Yeah, mostly done, but essentially they're like, well, how can we save X amount of dollars like right now and immediately? And this is in addition to them selling the uh, the CW stuff. Um, they sold that off, and that was to sell the debt. So they're they're trying to become further and further solvent, which I understand to an extent. However. Uh, Batgirl is a casualty on this. Uh, the Wonder Twins movie is a casualty, and I know we're really we were really looking forward to that. Um, but they're cutting everything to the bone to try to save money, but not from what we've heard so far. Not touched the any uh, any of the the Flash and Ezra Miller, Miller drama has not been touched. In fact, the the report is that they Ezra they, Miller they, are they still going to put that movie out? Allegedly, uh, it got Allegedly. delayed. It got delayed, but um, I don't it know got you to put a criminal's movie out. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm like. So the 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 update here uh, is that uh, Ezra allegedly or apparently not allegedly, sorry, habit uh, Ezra reportedly uh, did reshoots this summer on the Flash movie. Uh, I will. I would say. With everything going on, reshoots are a normal thing, but I have a hunch that the reshoots may be allowing them to position an exit. I think that 
they're I think that they're trying yeah, to get this Flash released. What's that? I said bring in Kid Flash or something. Yeah, yeah. You could bring that like in, bring in and because uh, who does Ezra play? Is, do, do they Ezra's play Barry. Barry. Ezra's Barry. Yeah. So they could bring in Wally. You could bring in Wally. Um, you can also, I mean, just like we're seeing in like the Marvel stuff, you could bring in an alternate, you know, alternate timeline stuff. Uh, you know, this is multiverse. Yeah. Uh, this is the, um, you know, flashpoint, if you will. I, I feel really bad, and I kind of I posted on Facebook about it. I, I feel bad like for Michael Keaton in all this because he is reprising his role. Spoilers, because they already announced it. He's reprising his role in this movie as as. Uh, Batman, uh, 1989 Batman. Um, rumor has it that he's also in the Aquaman sequel. Uh, he was also in, he was in the Batgirl movie. So that's three like terribly doomed projects that Michael Keaton just happens to be there. He finally reprises the Batman role that like everyone, everyone loves him for, you know, I, I, I'm, uh, he finally reprises that in like every single movie is is somehow sabotaged by something un uh, not connected to his performance so i almost feel bad on that and then brendan frazier was in batgirl uh the batgirl movie as well so you have another like celebrity that um i hope that they can separate that from their themselves and their performance uh ezra needs help though i think that's the big takeaway here and i say that in a supportive way ezra needs help uh third arrest by the way this year that's sixth and sixth and two years. Um, it's it's a. Yeah, it still hasn't somehow hasn't like had the three strike rule applied. No, no three strike rule. Um, I mean, we're not going to go into uh, full on details and everything because some of it could be conjecture. But the ones that we know about is is very. To me, it's it's almost like well, it, does Ezra play on? A, do, do they get a different uh, set of rules because of the celebrity status? I. And I think that's I think that's a big part of it. So um, I I feel it's bad annoying. for everyone that's involved. That's why I'm so but... tired of talking about it. Like in, yeah. not, not, I know you got to bring it up for just the fun of the show and everything of talking about DC and how DC's yeah. kind of ridiculous. Even though Black Adam is about to come out and the the yeah. face of DC is about to change or whatever it is. All right, and I'm planning <laughs> on taking the kid to go see Super Pets okay. here uh, in in a week or so, just because it's something rated for for yeah. my kid to watch and it was cute he recently sat through yeah. his first movie and i was like i'll go see you know was it, he he got did into he watch comic Gru? books a little bit so. yeah what did he watch yeah, he watched the movie? he watched the okay. uh, minions the rise of Gru, okay. and he did okay he had zero interest in it really but he sat through it so hmm. you know maybe do super pets and yeah there's dogs we've discovered though it needs to be musicals we need more g-rated musicals that would be nice yeah um yeah likes music uh, that's cool but the the stuff with ezra is just so annoying it feels like every couple of weeks it's like they did this stupid yeah. thing and they did that stupid thing i was like how is this person still on the streets yep like how are they still allowed yep. to with, do yeah with random like <laughs> random people like recording tiktoks yeah. of, of them like in a gas station not doing anything bad but the fact that like you know they're just like popping into public and okay, I'm just grabbing a Coke or whatever it was at seven 11 and like, you know, al uh, allowing the person to film them. It's the feeling of like, I'm invincible. So whatever, I just do whatever I want and then tweet, make fun of the, the police. Um, it's, it, it's, it's bad on all fronts. Like I said, I, I just, I hope Ezra gets help. That's, I'm tired of talking about it too. I want DC to be good, but yeah. It's it's a constant cycle. Let's talk about it's things just that like we the are. one person who like ran into that house and like the house like burned down and stuff yeah. and like everybody was like pray for this person because she yeah. has substance abuse problems and then like nobody was like what about this random civilian's house that got burned down that sucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's <sighs> no I agree because I'm trying to dance around the fact that um, you know there's. There's kidnapping slash grooming oh, yeah. involved in this stuff, so I'm trying not to, you know, to go into that aspect because the yeah. the wake that has that has followed uh, has followed them is is rough, and that's what I'm saying. Like there's there's I was more safety. I completely different person, by the way, when I mentioned that oh, fire thing, but I figured you, you knew. Yeah, the, no, that happened know. this weekend. So. 
It was um, I, dang, I can't think of her name. Um, crashed into. Was half. She's in a oh no no no! I did hear about that. She, it was a uh, yeah the um the car crash. And Hatch. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Anne Hatch or Anne Hesh. Hesh, I think. Bigger. Yeah. Yeah, she was in Volcano. That's all I remember. I mean, random she, movie for me to remember in because I love Volcano. She but... was in the Psycho remake with Vince Vaughn. Yeah, she was in yeah. the Psycho remake. So, but everybody was talking about her, and I was like, she burned like somebody's house down. What about that person whose house got <laughs> burned down? Like, I, I, it does suck. Yeah. For somebody to have substance abuse problems and stuff, but like, I feel. I honestly feel worse for the person whose house got burned down because if you've seen this housing economy, it sucks right now, bro. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's no, I, I, I didn't, you know, put two and two together on that because I, I heard about, I heard about her, her issues, but I didn't realize that the, the arson aspect of that as well. And, um, it just proves that, uh, you know, that it's a different set of rules. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I did, I did chuckle a little bit on the FBI raid. I'm not, again, I'm not going to go into the political okay. aspect, but that like, you know, ev- everyone's saying like, you know, oh, nothing's going to happen and that happens. It's like, okay, I'm surprised because usually again, different set of rules for rich folk, um, but we'll see what happens. I'm just, I just thought it was funny because it's like, they definitely think they're untouchable when you get to that level and you shouldn't be is what we're going to get at. A political yeah. statement, you shouldn't be above the law. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about things we're excited about, though. We got some fall games coming up. Uh, got your got your list here. I added a, a couple in here, uh, but I do agree. Mine's uh, just, very, mine's just very square heavy. It's a square, yeah. it's a square fall, man. Mm-hmm. There's, let me count, one, two, three, three square games yeah. that are almost for sure buys. I'm going to play the demo of one hopefully tonight uh or tomorrow which is dial field chronicle because i love me a good tactical rpg Mm -hmm. um it looks interesting it's new ip so there's that yeah um around my birthday valkyrie elysium comes out which you know part of the valkyrie profile series um so and while the first trailer looked very meh the second trailer Mm -hmm. for valkyrie elysium looked Dope. This is the and so first that's one. almost for yeah. sure a day one buy uh, as well. And then another Square game, which is it just looks like Square's version of, of Stardew Valley, which is Harvestella. Yep. And my wife wants to play Harvestella. Yeah. So when my wife says, I want this game, that means it's a buy. So Harvestella yep. is a day one buy also. <laughs> yeah. Of like let's do some basic rpg action and grow some stuff i met like i can see us playing this game where she's like i'll do all the growing stuff if you do all the combat stuff I was like, yeah yeah, sure. yeah. no I, and that's it, it i thought of stardew valley immediately when i when i saw it it it's uh you know it's adorable but um the the blend of like having the 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 farming aspect and that type of like you know tending to it I don't know uh, because I haven't uh, looked into it but I don't know if this has any um, daily aspect where you log in and your plants like if there if it's tied to real time or if it's tied to in-game time only reason I mentioned that is like you know does it want you to log in repeatedly like a uh, like a uh, Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing kind of thing where they reward that obviously you're good they're going to reward you doing work but I don't know how the growing mechanism works though, but this, yeah, this looks great. This is one that I'm, I'm more than likely going to buy. Um, Valkyrie Elysium, uh, p- possibly, uh, but this one's higher up on the list for me because it just seems really chill. Um, and I'm assuming that the combat, because of the blend of this type of game, I'm assuming the combat's not going to be particularly challenging. And I don't mean no. that in a negative way. I mean, like, it's going to no. be, you know, something's fun to, to, to uh you know to kick back and farm and then every now and then i you know cross some swords so yeah i'm 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 in it for that i'm very much so and then god of war obviously coming yeah. out towards the end of the it's year like the Dell game of like find somebody who isn't buying this uh, game they're PC they're gonna players. be pc mm-hmm. players or xbox fanboys um i mean xbox. when an I mean, if if you're if the game is good, then just you know respect the game. And God of War, 
I, I would say that, I mean, I loved the, the originals, but the new God of War uh, reboot, remake, whatever, and this are showing that next level. They, they successfully took a property that was beloved and I'm not going to say made it better. They reinvented it, by, but kept the essence. And they kept the essence of the game, but changed the format, changed a lot, uh, as not just the setting. So very happy with, with this, very excited about this. Um, so every time I hear the word essence, I think of that Friends episode from like mm-hmm. the, one of the early seasons where it's the one where no one's ready. I don't know if you remember that one, but like the Joey and Chandler are arguing over the chair. The chair and the essence the of the chair. And then like, and then like Joey takes the cushions of the chair. He's like, but the, you're taking the cushions. He's like, but the cushions are the essence. That's right. That's right. I'm stealing the essence. That's not, I'm the essence. I, 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 the essence. I was pretty sure I remembered what episode it was when you said the one that was no one's ready because Ross keeps coming in and like, you know, being like, okay, if we skip the appetizers, <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh take, take and yes. yeah of course the best part of the, the him wearing all of the clothes <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest like i'm not really excited for god of war at all uh really? it's one of those things where yeah it's just a lot, more people are higher on the last mm-hmm. game than mm-hmm. i am i i don't like everybody's talk about like him being like an okay like i think he's a terrible father figure and stuff and people see that and they think that his father journey is interesting and i suppose it is but at the end of the day he's still terrible father and so it's like a thing of whenever i was playing it yeah i already had i had like you know different relationship issues with my own dad and then now like secondary i have like my thing as a kid and so it's a thing where it's not the gameplay is, was the king and the game was a lot of fun to go through the games that the first game by first i mean the reboot whatever yeah. remake whatever you want to call it yeah the single shot aspect the previous the yeah of the game yeah. The, the single shot aspect of the game the fact that everything is a moving scene there are no like everything, Cut scene, or, yeah there's no loading like, screen like every, and, yeah yeah everything folds into the next scene yeah the gameplay is consist like consistent throughout it's a fun game to play and so for that aspect i'm looking forward to playing it in that way but in terms of being really jazzed about it yeah i don't know it's yeah. it's a thing of since i only think kratos is okay and atreus is okay like he's also annoying he is he <laughs> bad is. father but also annoying god kid is yeah. also not the best but you know maybe i end up being maybe it's good of me to be going into it this way because if it turns out to be way better and the story yeah. is way way more evolved than the last one maybe mm-hmm. I, it, it comes out i'm like oh this game was amazing so yeah. it's but it's also again just it's that game where it's like yep i'm buying it. it's <laughs> yeah it's gonna there's be no quality. way i'm not buying yeah you you're you're not you're not you're not going to abstain because you know it's going to be quality it's just a question yeah. of whether or not it's and i would going to be good to play, yeah no matter what and I would argue Kratos isn't a good father, but like he's, I think that, that the game is kind of showing how, you know, he sets these hard rules for his son. And it's like, you're not doing what you should be doing as a father. Like you are not mentoring him and, and teaching him. Um, so I would, I would argue that it's kind of showing a little bit of that, not the, necessarily that it's overt or ham fisted in that, but you are seeing him. I mean, he's, his sternness isn't like straight up rewarded like he makes statements or tells his son to do stuff that is not what should be done and that that's where i i think that's kind of the uh, aspect of it it's not as bad as like a uh a walter white breaking bad thing where you're watching someone who is doing very bad things you know it's more of his story arc of like he's becoming a better father in understanding he shouldn't be as protective and all that but no i i get it maybe he or hopefully he's a little more as mean what's that <laughs> or as mean. mean yeah yeah uh, it wasn't about the protectiveness like it was that he was a jerk yeah <laughs> that's what it yeah. really came down to for me it was which kratos has always been a jerk but you know you're not supposed to be a jerk to your kid is really no. what yeah. what it comes down to um but you know that 
after that, the only other game where I'm like 99% sure that I'm going to buy it mm -hmm. is uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy Call of Duty. I don't want to buy them every year. I bought Cold War when um, Series X and PS5 came out. Played a lot of hours of multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I skipped Vanguard because I don't. I was kind of done with World War II uh, and have been for a while. Modern Warfare 2 brings it. Uh, you know they're remaking whatever they did before, so yeah. I'm looking yeah. forward to getting my multiplayer shooter on. Um, if the campaign's good, that's cool too. But really, I just want to play some. I I got decent, and so I'm yeah. hoping to start off. With a nice zero zero, maybe get a positive KD ratio in there. That would be nice. Uh, I well, this is a game where I'll be picking it up on Xbox because that's where the last one I played was, and I enjoyed the playing it with that controller over my uh, PlayStation controller. I, w I was gonna wait, and be like, let's just get the merger to go through so I can get it on Game Pass, but I'm probably going to buy it in November, and that's probably gonna be my Christmas. I'm just gonna play some. It's a multiplayer game. Have, yeah. have a good time. I have, a, I have a bunch of maybes on my list. I don't know if you have any, any more that you're for sure getting that are coming out. You know, I uh, I would say there, there's a few that... There's two There's two that I'm, I'm pretty darn certain that I'm, that I'm getting both of them. Uh, and that's Scorn. Um, Scorn. This is, this is yeah. very much is up any, my alley. Is that that Stanley... Not Stanley, uh, Kubrick looking one. It, it's um, it's very H.R. Giger, which the guy from the designed the aliens. Um, yeah, it's okay. that kind of uh, very visceral, disgusting looking, um, uh, uh, Giger esque. You know, it kind of has its own its own uh, gory kind of weird visceral uh, aspect. Which um, again, I. I think that's weird and disgusting and I love it. So uh, I'll definitely be playing it. I know that it's again, not a, it's not definitely not a happy feely thing, but uh, it doesn't seem like the game is as scary, a, a more of like uncomfortable um, in, in the situations that maybe that's just my perception. Uh, but I'm, I'm very curious about, uh, about the overall like story, if you want to call it a story. Um, and, you know why you're doing what you're doing. I'm I'm not. I've not done a bunch of research into that because uh, I was kind of hooked at the at the style. So that's Ridley one for Scott. me. Ridley that's Scott. Ridley Scott. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So not, yeah, Ridley Scott Kubrick. was the director. Ridley Scott. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's very you know very Giger who did the uh, the alien design and then uh, you know for aliens and all that. So it reminds me of that. Um, and then the other one which. It, you know, I know Scorn's not necessarily up your alley, but Marvel's Midnight Suns, maybe. Um, I I am further wanting to play it, um, just because I, I really hope I really hope that it's good. I uh, I like the style. I think this is coming out on Switch too. I'm considering playing it on Switch. Um, I'll have to double check. I, I know it's coming out on PS5 and all that, but I couldn't remember if it's coming out on on Switch. But these type of strategy Midnight games seem, Suns. yeah, Midnight Suns. For some Switch, reason, I think it's on Switch. Xbox, yeah. Xbox, and Microsoft Windows. So I may get, I may get it on my Switch. Um, it, I, I feel like that that may be a, a cool place to play it because, again, the strategy aspect, you know, uh, works pretty well. I like being able to, you know, hit that sleep button and go about my day, and then I can wake it back up and continue what I was doing. I like that. You know, it's yeah it's convenient so i like that this is one of those games that i want the reviews on i yeah. am interested i like the idea i saw the first combat thing is a like, eh, 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 maybe yeah. it's not an I, ultimate I enjoy alliance ta it's, i enjoy yeah. tactical role-playing games though like i mentioned diothio chronicle is on my list of of probably going to buys yeah so a marvel tactical does interest me it's just can they nail it i know that it just got delayed again um i think they announced that a couple days ago that there that's right maybe a delay yeah actually i forgot about on, that they're yeah trying to, they're trying to just make sure it's quality yeah. as quality as it can be so hopefully it's not in trouble but that's one of those ones where i was like all right show me some reviews yep. and if it reviews even you know if it, if it 
if it's getting some eights and some nines, probably some eights, you know, that's that's good enough for me. But yeah. I want to see it work out first. I put another tactics game. Lots of tactics games. The tactics games are back. I put um, Tactics Ogre on my maybe list. And the only reason it's on my maybe list is because it's 50 bucks at launch. And I'm a little upset about that. I know that they redid the audio. Yeah. Redid some tracks put voice acting to it but it was a thing of you know it's 50 bucks and this game is 20 years old yes yeah. it's, it's tough um so i don't know you know i'm still probably going to end up getting it because it's such a classic and i never actually played the original and so that's exciting but uh you know the other one Again, another tactics game, Mario Rabbids Two, mm-hmm. uh, which you you recently bought the first Mario. I Rabbids, did. Right? I did. I have. I, I'll admit, it. I I got it. I haven't started it, but I got it on a, right. a pretty darn good discount. And you know, when Nintendo games go on discount, if it's a game that I'm that I haven't played, uh, there's a lot of those I'll yep. grab because I know it's again. It's like I know this is going to be quality, and Nintendo yep. games, you know, historically they don't. Nintendo doesn't discount that stuff as much and i know that this is technically it's ubisoft, ubisoft game, yeah. So yeah yeah it's technically That's ubisoft it's kind of... yeah because if it was zelda they don't mind they'll be like Fire game. i think if it was zelda what's Ze- a breath of the wild still going for like 50 bucks or something i mean i think the lowest i've seen it is 40 yeah it's still worth 40 it doesn't matter like, how like old once, that game is. like once a year like yeah. once a year i think it'll go down to around 40. yeah but I've got that. I mean, I I got that specifically because because of the the discount. I've heard great things in this coming out. I thought, well, maybe I'll dip yeah. my toes in, see how it is, um, see if it's if it's worth it. Um, and yeah. it's one of those games where it's like the first one was enjoyable. There is a difficulty spike in it that was just absurd. Yeah. Uh, IMO. I had to look up how to beat a level and just do it verbatim how they were listing it because I just could not beat it originally and so i just want to see if they managed to maybe do something a little new or just like did they you know again it's one of those i want to see the reviews on what people are saying about it because if it's just it's you know it's mario rabbits again then i don't really it's like well i already played mario rabbits do i need to play it again but honestly the one that i am i just I don't know if you ever liked this franchise at all. I'm super interested in reviews of this game. I want to see more of this game. But did you ever play any of the Saints Row? I did. Games? I did. I'm kicking myself for not having Which, the uh, was it video. Saints Row three yeah. or Saints Row four? Which one two. did you play? It was two. two. Um, three. I three. I put a massive amount of hours. <laughs> there we go. Three. Three was. Uh, three was good too. Um, I feel like like one was okay two was two was the moment because that was the first one that i played but i knew about it because i was like oh it's that gta ripoff and then two's uh, free on xbox right now by the yeah. way if you want to add it to your if you want to add it to your xbox library you can i got it, it yeah yeah so add, yeah definitely add that if you haven't by the way um yeah but the um the second game was when i played that i was like wait this is in my opinion, I liked, and this is this is fighting words. I liked Saints Row Two better than I liked uh, GTA Four at the time. At the time, I liked Saints Row Three better than I liked GTA Three, like because I didn't, yeah. uh, you know, I hadn't played Four. But okay, compared to GTA Three, yeah, I hadn't played Four when I played Saints Row Three, but okay. I enjoyed it more than GTA in general. I just liked it being a little bit light, more lighthearted. Yeah. Yeah, more lighthearted. Well, I liked the vehicle customization and, and other aspects of it. I'm like, wow, this is going in depth in the gang warfare aspect. And of course, three goes even more over the top. Um, I am very curious how this is going to be yeah. because GTA five, you know, banking, obviously, if Saints Row, if Saints Row could, I'm not saying it's going to dethrone GTA, no. but it's like it's maybe get some of those player, the players that have been playing some GTA, maybe uh they'll they'll dip their toes in here hopefully it's, if it can it's just be good. a fun campaign yeah can i just get a fun campaign i do have gad out of hell on mm-hmm. ps plus that i still have not played and i probably should but at this point i just want to see if this new one is worth it because the the only problem with from this trailer is it kind of makes you look at like makes you remind you of watchdogs in a way mm-hmm. a little bit with the newest watchdogs and you're like eh, and we saw how only okay that game was hopefully this one 
can look at a game like Watch Dogs Mistakes and be better. Yeah. But I want this game to be good. Like, I want them to be like, yes, Owen, you have to buy this game. Uh, yeah. So this, this is probably my strongest maybe list game where it's like, all you have to do is show me that it's fun and I will probably buy it because yeah. I I like a good sandbox game like this mm -hmm. that doesn't take itself seriously at all and also still has those gta aspects where it's like all right i'm just gonna go steal this car yeah and yeah. that's how it's gonna be i'm gonna go roll up to this hooker's house and you know we're, and then we're gonna go over to this bar and yeah. we're gonna go kill a gangster yeah. and that's that's just how we're gonna have we're gonna have that fun but we're all gonna do it while we're laughing about it and being completely arcadey yeah that's what i want and, and that's yeah that's that's what i that's what i think saints row hit that aspect before gta 5 did where saints row was like this is we're gonna joke about about this this is ridiculous we all know that this is you know the we're not trying to glorify the crime aspect you know it's uh, they did that tongue-in-cheek aspect of the, the hilarity get out of hell going way over the top and i and i love it for that um but honestly the thing that got me first was the vehicle customization because i'd i'd trick out rides in uh in san andreas and store them in the uh you know in the garage like especially if you get the there's certain garages you can uh store more vehicles and saints row having more cut vehicle customization than any of that was uh was the thing that drove me to that where you know i could trick out the exact exactly how i wanted that car to look um way more options so i'm i also want it to be a good campaign um i know that's not necessarily their focus anymore so i'm not necessarily looking for the car aspect but i want the driving to be fun obviously and hopefully the missions are are uh entertaining um yeah. So unfortunately, uh, sorry, I, I forgot to mention it before. We're talking to Call of Duty. That's not going to be Game Pass, um, at least this time. Um, briefly, I, yeah. At least briefly, I was I was going to say, and I had in there. I forgot to um, to talk about it. But Sony uh, did make some statements last week talking about uh, Call of Duty. It's like basically essential. Uh, gaming, it's, it doesn't have a an equal or rival. You know, wherever that goes, it pulls that player base. It's not, uh, it's it's essential to a, to their gaming environment or whatever. Um, and Xbox's response, which I thought was funny, uh, is uh, sorry. Well, I thought I had it up here, but it's basically uh, Microsoft. Was it Microsoft said uh, there's nothing special about Activision games? Is what they said. So I find that that statement funny because they're trying to say. No, no. Why'd you uh, pay seventy billion dollars? Yeah, that, that's what they're they're the the cognitive dissonance isn't really cognitive dissonance. They're trying to say it's not that big of a deal because they don't want to make a statement that makes that that stalls or stops that deal. Is what you know? That's what Xbox is doing. They're downplaying the behemoth that uh, you know that Call of Duty is. Again, GTA being another one of those that. If GTA, yeah. if they said GTA Six is only on Xbox, like that would be insane. Um, that would yeah. be it's huge. Um, so I thought the statement. I just was funny. wonder why they're commenting on it at all when Xbox has already said that they'll put, that they'll leave Call of Duty as a cross-platform thing, unless there's already been like talks of it not to be. I, so yeah. that's where it's interesting that the conversation's happening to begin with yeah why make the it's statement like, if you've been told you're good what's, what's yeah the, problem? the only thing that i could think of though is just because that call of duty was just such a big part of playstation's brand through the through the ps4 era yeah. they had a, a very big partnership with activision they got on all the commercials and now they don't get to do that anymore yeah. all of the commercials are always in perpetuity going to be call of duty and, you know, even if Call of Duty remains on PlayStation, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be. And so that's probably their problem. Like, they're like, what, what do we, you know, what do we chain our horse to now? It's going to be Destiny is what, what's going to be. Oh, they bought Bungie, yeah. but I can see that, you know, that's, that's their problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And well, I think that also the, you know, the, I think that what they're getting a taste of is maybe, maybe not necessarily that they're not going to get the game, but the lawyer aspect of like, look, we said you're going to get it. We didn't mean you're going to get it uh, at the same time, or you're going to get the game, but maybe you're not going to get DLC. Like those types of, um, 
you know, the, those types of like, kind of, in my, in my opinion, unfair practices that Activision Xbox could do and still be legally like in the green where they're like, no, the game came out on there. It may have half the maps on PlayStation, but you have the game, uh, which will automatically move so many people. If they're like, I, if I don't get all the maps, you know, then I go somewhere else. That's that's what happened. So I could sniff out some of that aspect where you're like, maybe that's what's happening from a, from a you know, behind the scenes. Uh, I know that it's safe for now, but we also don't know. Does that mean contractually, like the next three years, and that's it? Um, but at the same time, I don't think Xbox is necessarily gonna going to do that as a uh, as a complete uh, terrible move to their competition. They could, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Phil, Phil's. We I believe in Phil, see, but you know, I believe in I, Phil's website. I won't. I won't buy Call of Duty again as soon as it comes to Game Pass, much like all the other. Although we did buy Halo Infinite, and that was a huge mistake. So yeah. Microsoft proved me wrong. They're like, "No, you want to give us money for your game? Are you crazy? No, just have Game Pass. So <laughs> just play the be, free games, dude. And if you if you like the game, game, then you can buy it. <laughs> Which, by the way, PlayStation Plus Extra mm-hmm. again was a solid August, but premium dude premium ain't it don't yeah get, don't Pre- get premium so yeah premium agreed. is not worth the money at all just get extra. extra is worth the money but uh, yeah. premium until they say until they add like every psx game and every ps3 game and every psp game just yeah. and maybe once they retire the vita if they start adding if they start adding vita games to premium that'll be sick that would be but yeah no it, it's not for just watching the, the, the fact that they didn't come out with any premium games for august yep it was just extra and i've i've been saying you don't need premium unless you want to play those those retro games and you don't have the retro console however i'd still say even then i don't think it's worth it unless you i would i would there there's a lot of other things i would be playing other than those games um but I just don't think it's worth the extra The extra money. Extra is where it's at. I, I agree with that. Decent games. There's going to be more. Stray was pretty good, by the way. I played a little bit of Stray, uh, a couple hours of Stray. So liking that, um, which is why we got extra. <laughs> yeah. So, well, let us know what you thought about extra, that. Extra, about all that news. read all about it. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, let us know, did you upgrade your PlayStation uh, Plus subscription? Are you sticking with Xbox? Xbox, obviously. Want to earn the Xbox Game Pass for free? Go earn it for free if you're not doing it already. Let us know in the comments what you think about that. Let us know if you're going to go redeem those points, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.